Short and sweet video. Um, just got my windows tinted. Um, first car with tint. Anyway, I want to do this to make those RFP1 wheels blend in a little better. So, um, recommendations of Black Diamond Tinting out of Little Canada, Minnesota. They recommend it 30% on the sides. And I do like it. It's just transparent enough that I can uh, see out of it still. Keeps the car fairly cool. It's been pretty hot here. Um, and then uh, he recommended 25% on the back just to handle the glare of headlights, the hatch. Um, so it's a little darker on the back. And then when I got the initial bid, he didn't include the front windshield. And I was like, well, do you think I should do it? And he's like, you can, um, but that's gonna be like $200 more. So my initial quote was like 449, I believe. And then he said like, oh, it's gonna be like two, $300 more to do the front because all the sensors in there. Um, it's like, oh, I don't really want to spend that much. So he just rounded out to 600. Um, and he did 50% on the front. I'm kind of happy with that. I haven't driven it at night yet, so I don't really know. It's kind of dusk here, I apologize for the low lighting conditions, but um, that's kind of what I went with. And I think the car looks a lot cleaner now. Looks a little bit more aggressive. Um, I don't know if that was what I was going for. Um, kind of 40 old dude with the Honda Civic that kind of looks like a hot hatch, but it isn't. <laughs> it's, it's the 2.0, but it is a six speed, so it's fun to drive. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, one thing I didn't know is like, you can't roll down your windows for a period of like, what does it say on there? Three to five days. I'm just gonna give it a week. So that was, I didn't know that. It has to like cure and stuff. So it's kind of like a basic video for anybody who hasn't got tint down on their cars because it's something I've never done, but it's my first car I bought new. So I wanted to do something different, you know? Um, so I think exterior, I'm kind of getting there. One thing I'd like to do is like remove that rear wiper, but because now it just sticks out for some reason, but it's so useful here and we've had a lot of rain recently. So I don't know if I'm going to do that, but it'd look a lot cleaner without that rear, rear wiper on the, on the hatch. Um, debating on whether going on with like a black spoiler on the back. If anybody has any recommendations for the hatch, let me know. Um, I know Nas put the hybrid spoiler on his. So that thing is expensive. I do like how it bolts onto the hatch, though. So, um, it's not going to be taped on like a lot of the ones people do. I think I'm either going to do like resonator plugs or I was debating on PRL intake. Um, if anybody has PRL intake, let me know how that's working out for you and if it's worth it. I don't know if it really is. I think it gives me a little bit more horsepower. I'm thinking about it, but if it's just for the sound, I might just do the plugs. So I know Nas was selling those. I might reach out to him and see if he'd sell me a set. Um, that's kind of where I'm at with this. I'm getting the car to where I like I want it. You know, I mentioned those wheels. Um, have made a big difference in acceleration and everything. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. Anyway, um, leave a comment on recommendations for that spoiler. I would like to hear them. I debate on whether to black out the handles. I don't think I'm going to. I just, I want to, but I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> just because I see everybody doing it. So, yeah, but I think it turned out really well. I like how the car looks now a lot um, so yeah that's about it <laughs>